Mac Robertson has just qualified as a lawyer, so he can now put his law books away and turn his attention to his $170,000 student debt. You know, the whole gravity of it really didn't hit me until about you know, a few months ago when all of a sudden it's like, wait a second, that's not just a number. That's actually representative of something. So the joke's always been, well, I bought a house, but, uh, you know, really, it's a little bit more than that. If only Mac had bought a house. Unable to find a job, he's moving to Texas to live with his parents. He's not thrilled about it. I'm 27 years old, and it, it is, even though it is rather typical of people... It's become uh, common now it's in America. Become very, it's still not culturally normative. Max debt is not unusual. Americans owe $1 trillion in student loans, and they're also struggling to find work. More than half of recent graduates are unemployed or underemployed. At Temple University, students fear being trapped in low-paid jobs. I hope for the best, but I just know from like previous experience, my brother graduated from Penn State, and he had really high grades, but he's been searching for jobs and can't seem to find anything. The student vote helped to get President Obama into the White House four years ago. Hey guys, you ready to start to vote your current address? He's still likely to win much of their vote, but gone is the message of hope and change. The American dream has been at the heart of this election because many people fear that it's under threat. No more so than on campuses like this one, where students worry they'll be worse off than their parents. Do you worry about being worse off? Yeah. I worry about that like almost every single day. I, I'm fearful that basically that, you know, I might not get a job, so I might have to like be in debt like all my life. In a tough economy, university is still seen as a good investment because non-graduates are faring even worse. But many students are having to lower their financial expectations. We still have it in the mind that we're going to be better off than our parents were. I mean, that's just so much part of the national narrative and everything. But I also think that there's an understanding that we may have to redefine what it means to be better off. At least Mac can take comfort from the fact that he never has to study from these books again. Zoe Conway, BBC News, Philadelphia.